G'day guys, how are you going? Skypilot here. It is absolutely raining cats and dogs outside at the moment, so I thought I would take this opportunity to have a chat about a small device that I have just received from my good friends at Viafly. This is the GPS Mate. It's an external module power supply for your GPS, for your long range quads. Nifty little device from my good friends at Viafly. Please make sure you check them out in the description. This is a really handy device, especially for you guys who like to fly the long range and most of, especially for you guys who like flying the long range, most of our long range quads today do come with a GPS. The Recon range, uh, this is the Recon 5. That comes with an external buzzer as well, should you have an incident, which is really cool. But some of them don't. Uh, the Shadow Fiend just comes with your GPS unit, no buzzer. If you have something like this that has a GPS attached to it and you aren't too happy about flying at long range without having a buzzer, then this little device is going to be for you. It does a couple of cool things. Uh, it's called the GPS Mate because that's exactly what it is. It is a mate to your GPS. So what this does is it enables you to warm up your GPS so you're not sitting there for five minutes waiting for a satellite. It automatically warms up your GPS, getting it running, gets your GPS up and running, which is really great. And it also has that buzzer function as well. Super easy to fit. Let's open up the little package here, see what you get inside and run through some text and specs. This thing's gonna be really, really handy, guys. A really good idea. So, open up your nice little plastic case here, complete with a comprehensive instruction manual or user guide here. It tells you what everything does, which we'll run through shortly. So it does come with its own cable, so it's really good. They've thought of everything here, guys. And they've even included a JST connector so that if your flight controller, which I'm going to connect this to my Shadow Fiend, already has a buzzer JST connector, then what you can do is find your relevant... It has the plugs on the ends already, so already crimped to connect up to your JST plug. So that's a really, really good idea, Firefly. Excellent thinking. And if you wish to heat shrink it, it has some nice clear heat shrink plastic as well. So let's get into the actual unit itself. First thing we'll do is, if you're worried about the weight of it, considering it has a little itty bitty lipo battery on there, 3.5 grams. So that's actually just about the weight of some of the earlier model buzzers on its own. So that is really, really nifty. Looking over the unit, guys, it has a switch on the top here. So you can switch between your 5 volt and your 3.3 volt output, depending on your GPS. Most of them will be running off of 5 volts. You can see we have our buzzer unit here our power supply. We have our two JST plugs here on the left and right. One of them goes to, as you can actually see on the back here, it tells you where all the pins go. Should you wish to solder it direct, that is also a possibility. So we have our JST connectors. The left side here goes to your flight controller and the right side goes to your GPS unit. So that's going to make it really handy. So what I'll be doing is I'll be plugging in my GPS supplied JST and then I will also connect up these leads here and I shall connect that straight in to my Shadow Fiend GPS plug. So that side is all good to go. And then all we need to do is plug in our flight controller one and plug in our buzzer TX, RX, 5 volt and ground. Super, super easy to hook up, guys. It's nothing hard about this at all. Super light, super portable, easy to hook up. What this will enable you to do, guys, is should you have a dilemma, crash your quad, 
this will emit a beep after about one minute and it beeps, beeps twice every 10 seconds and that will last for around four hours so you've got a good four hours to try and find your quad which is really cool because I have had a few uh, fail safes and fall from the skies and let me tell you without a buzzer sometimes you are not going to find these quads I guarantee it I should mention that the little itty bitty tiny 50 milliamp hour lipo will last for as I said around four hours takes about one and a half hours to charge and what it actually does is once you've connected it to your quad it actually charges while you are running it and it's switched on 90 decibel buzzer it's also worth mentioning guys that should you have a small accident with your quad and have a crash and your lipo has not been ejected you can set this up as a normal buzzer feature like you do on your normal units and you can set it to buzz via your radio auxiliary switch it's only when the battery is ejected it will revert to that automatic beeper feature but i think the best thing about this guys is the power supply to your gps so i don't know about you but i am always carrying a spare gps warm-up power supply which means having to plug in and take that extra power supply with me and sometimes it takes around 10 minutes to find enough satellites to get these things in the air depending on where you are but with this cool feature there's no need to do that you just turn on your gps mate the lipo charges your onboard gps no need for that additional battery going on that if you should happen to land and swap over lipos this will also automatically kick in and keep that gps running warm so that you can just plug your new lipo in and get straight back up without any delays so that's really really good definitely worth a thumbs up definitely worth a look no need to ever worry about your gps warming up again if you are looking at purchasing a buzzer for one of your quads you might as well grab one of these because it's pretty much the same weight and it also does a heck of a lot more than just a buzzer thank you vifly I might get the tools out and start connecting it up. There's the setup folks, all ready to go. Really, really simple I might add. Just be careful when you are connecting your GPS to the Wi-Fi unit. Make sure you are connecting the TX to the RX and the RX of the Vifly to the TX of the GPS unit. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, if you've already set up your quad, like I have with the eShine, and it's already ready to go with your GPS and your buzzer, etc., you don't need to touch anything in beta flight. If not, then obviously you're going to have to make sure you set up your GPS as per normal and hook up the by flight unit like I've done here and you'll be good to go. So the bus is going to work as a fail safe for when I lose power and it's also going to work via my auxiliary because that's what I originally set the Eshine Fiend up to do. So that automatically beeps anyway. So there's nothing to do on your radio or beta flight. So I'm going to put it back together now, take it outside test out this power supply see if I can do a pre-warm of the GPS see how long it takes for my GPS to connect to some satellites and see how that buzz is going to work There we go guys, all set up. Nice, easily accessible button on the side here. Just mounted it with the mounting screw. 
just next to your buzzer and also the buzzer is out in the open so that if it needs to sound you can hear it easily flight controller wiring at the front and gps wiring just trails to the back nice and simple Let's hook it up to a radio and Let's see if that GPS is getting warmed up. So what I'm going to do is, as the GPS is getting warmed up, which is why that green light's flashing, I'll take it outside without a LiPo connected, let it sit there for a few minutes, and we'll see how quickly we can connect to that GPS. Okay, let's so let's turn on our GPS mate. You can see the green light flashing underneath there. So that is now powering up our GPS. We're not wasting our flight time power supply. Normally the Flywoo takes around four to five minutes to warm up where I am here to find a GPS lock sufficient for takeoff. So we'll sit it here for about four minutes and then I'll fire up the LiPo and let's see how quickly the GPS fires up. It's been sitting here for three minutes now, so let's see if our Vifly GPS mate has warmed up our GPS enough to more or less get an instant lock. There you have it guys, have a look. You should have it up on the screen there, I'm just recording it for my sky zones. We have eight satellites, so straight away, good to go, and we should be able to launch without any hassles at all, which we can. Well, I would definitely call that a GPS mate, absolutely, that is terrific. Vifly, thank you, absolutely. Simulating some sort of crash, I'll just show you the beeper effect. So you can run the beeper off of your auxiliary switch, which is quite loud. And should we have a crash and your power supply for some terrible reason, manages to exit stage left, then what the Firefly unit is going to do after a short period of time, it will shortly emit a beep. The beep is activated after one minute and it will beep twice every 10 seconds until it's turned off or your GPS mate goes flat. And there you have it, nice and loud. You'll certainly be able to hear that amongst the trees and the grass, so that's really cool. <coughs> Long press for a couple of seconds and all turned off. And many thanks to my good friends at Vifly. Check out the links below, guys, if you are interested in one of these. Super, super, super handy. So if you're into the long range gear, I highly recommend you check out one of these Bifly units. Really easy to install and a really nice bit of kit. Any questions, drop me a comment below for sure. So I'll catch up with you guys next time. Thanks very much for stopping by.